Adam Charlemagne. Who got the donkey of the day today? Well, donkey of the day for Monday, April 17th, just hilarious, goes to a man named Devin P. Mitchell. Uh, Devin is from Picayune, Mississippi. The M.I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Hump back, hump back, I. Salute to all my folks in Mississippi. Drop on the clues bombs from Mississippi. If I pronounce Picayune wrong, apologies. Don't nobody know how to pronounce that but y'all. But Devin is receiving the biggest he hard today. And you know donkey of the day is all about giving people the credit they deserve for being stupid. And I'm always torn when I see creativity weaved in with being stupid. See, Devin was doing a whole bunch of things he had no business doing. Oh, he was riding dirty like Chameleon Air in 2005, and he was taken into custody and charged with possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute while in possession of a firearm, possession of a controlled substance, tampering with physical evidence, uh, possession of a weapon by a felon, and possession of paraphernalia. Sidebar, isn't it amazing how when we are out committing crimes, we don't count the charges? I guarantee you in Devin mind, he was thinking he had guns and drugs. He didn't leave the house thinking he was committing five different felonies. Just two, I'm sure. But here's the thing. Most people, I believe, are self-aware enough to know they are doing something illegal. Okay, he's a felon, right? One of his charges is possession of a weapon by a felon. With mm -hmm. that said, I would think, you know, you would have a proper stash place for your gun and drugs, right? If you're going to be in the car. But I have a strange feeling Devin didn't think any of this through. Okay, plan all the way to the end. That's what I was always taught in 48 Laws of Power. Yeah, it's safe to say Devin wasn't ready. Let's go to TLC USA for the report, please. A Mississippi man was arrested Friday during a traffic stop after he attempted to hide a gun in a quesadilla from Taco Bell, according to police. Devin P. Mitchell folded the gun into the quesadilla when police in Picayune stopped him and driver Olivia Neff for a traffic violation. Officers reportedly saw Mitchell stuffing the handgun into a Taco Bell bag, prompting them to conduct a search of the vehicle where they found the gun hidden in the Mexican meal. Mitchell found himself slapped with other charges after police also recovered methamphetamine, liquid heroin, and drug paraphernalia during their search, according to authorities. Wow. Wow. Round of applause for me. I pronounced Pika Ewan right. Yeah. Can I have some applause, please, for that? Thank you. <sighs> Devin got stopped by the police and hid his gun in a quesadilla. Okay, when you eat in the quesadilla, you're supposed to add guac, not a glock, Devin. That's a quesadilla. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the L's are silent? Yes. All right, quesadilla. All right? I've heard of hard shells or soft shells for quesadillas, but bullet shells, that's a new one. All right? Now, look, I haven't committed crimes like this since uh, in 27 years. All right? I've been around crimes like this in 27 years, but when I was doing my fake thug thizzle in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, I saw people have more creative ways to not get caught, right? You put it, put the gun and the drugs in the trunk underneath the spare tire. I've seen them, you know, hide the gun in the engine of the car, which I never agreed with, okay? In my mind, the gun would overheat and start going off. I've, I've seen them hide it in the center console. I've seen them hide it beneath the steering wheel. If you believe DJ Envy's war stories, he had his 22 stashed in his Manolo Blahniks, all right, the deuce deuce in the boot. All right, nowadays, right, correct me if I'm wrong, Envy, some of these cars have secret compartments to hide your stashes in, right? Correct. Did it, does the car come like that? No. Oh, you got to get it made like that. Yeah, you, people usually put it in there. Okay. Vehicles. I, I still think that's extra stupid because if you know the car got secret stashes, wouldn't the police know too? All I'm trying to say, Devin, if you're going to commit crimes, at least think the crime all the way through, okay? Your plan can't be if I get caught, I'm going to put my pistol in this Nacho Bell Grande. All right, and NRA, don't y'all get no bright ideas and try to do a collaboration with Taco Bell. Okay, remember when Taco Bell had the uh, Think Outside the Bun campaign? NRA or any other gun lobbyists, don't get any bright ideas. We're not doing the uh, Think Outside the Gun campaign, okay? Let's leave that alone. There's not about to be a 380 in quesadilla combo on the menu, all right? 1,340 calories in 13 rounds. No, we're not doing that. All right, there will be no Mexican pizza pistol combos. There will be no steak, grilled cheese, bullet, and burritos combo. We're not doing that. All right, I have a feeling Devin actually did a hustler's prayer before he left his house. If he had everything in the open like that, and the only thing he could think to do was put his gun in the case of Delia, he really believed Future when Future said God is blessing all the trap ninjas. All right, maybe even worse, Devin might have had one of his people put some good old fashioned roots, okay, some voodoo, one of them protective spells on him that he thought would keep him from getting caught. But I hope he kept his receipt for that because that stuff don't work. All right, at least not in situations like that. When you leave the house and you moving like Devin was, it's just the luck of the draw on whether or not you get caught that day. Okay, and this happened to be the day Taco Bell and criminology collided for Devin.
More of the guns you crave. Please give Devin P. Mitchell the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. Yee-haw. You know what I hate? What? Silent letters. Lasagna. What's the, what's the Quesadilla. point? Quesadilla. Right? Quesadilla. Why have two L's if you're not going to use them? That makes no sense. Just spell it a different way. What, what, what is up with this language that we call English, man? I don't know. Don't you think that's stupid? It is. It's stupid. Same thing with, it's like foreskin. It's like the same thing with foreskin. Why mm-hmm. be born with it if you're just going to remove it? What are we doing next? <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, I wanted to play a game. I don't want to play with you no more. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what race he is. I looked. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I could, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm assuming? What? Nigga Bell Grande. I think so too. <laughs> yes. All right. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound two fifty on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound two five zero from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.